Hey, I appreciate you following my channel. I just wanted to invite you to a couple of things that I'm really excited about. Number one is my real estate sales business in Utah. If you are looking to buy or sell real estate across the Wasatch Front in Utah, give us a call at 801-675-8570 or you can check out www.the-wgr.com. If you have referrals for me and my team here as well, we'd love to do some business with you. If you're a real estate agent and you want to increase your revenue, increase your skill set, and just improve your business all the way around, you've got to get a coach. I highly recommend that you go to www.fearlessagent.com. It's the most effective and affordable real estate sales coaching and training on the planet today. And I've been part of that organization for over a decade now. It's the greatest thing I've ever done for my real estate business. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll see you soon. What up guys, Colton Lindsay here. It's Friday, Finance Friday is what I like to call it. And for you guys that have been watching my videos, I always do a little segment on how I became financially free so that hopefully I can pass that along to you and that you're taking the action to cause financial freedom for yourself as well. If you're new to this, make sure to subscribe to my channel immediately and understand what financial freedom is so you're clear on the definition. It's where your passive and your residual income pay for your desired lifestyle. Is that cool or what? Is that something you'd want to learn? Well, great. In my other videos, I share with you how to manage your money through something called the JAR system. It's important that you know where every penny is going for every penny you earn. Got it? So one of the, the ways you can do that is through what's called your financial freedom JAR. That's 10% of your net income should go there every single time. So if your net income's a dollar, 10 cents should go into that jar. And once you pay yourself first, and a great book I've talked about is The Richest Man in Babylon, is once you've paid yourself first, you're starting to stack up some money that is only spent on creating passive or residual income or getting a return on your investment. When you do that, when you master that habit, you start to get prepared for what? Something I like to call opportunity. Have you ever wondered why it seems like some people can take advantage of opportunities while you might not be able to? Well, it stems back from the habits you create of putting into your financial freedom account. So what are some ideas that you can invest in for a financial freedom account? Number one is real estate. If you are a real estate agent and you're following my channel, you must be investing in real estate long term. Number two is you can start some super simple like my friend, the great Garrett. He started with investing in gumball machines, right? So he found some discounted gumball machines, found locations to place them in, filled them up with a bunch of gumballs, checks them once a month. He's making about 100 to 150 bucks every single month in passive income from selling gumballs. Is that cool or what? You could also do vending machines. You could do uh, buy a laundromat on a larger scale, you know? But then there's other opportunities that you can invest in that aren't necessarily passive income, but you can make your rate of return on your money super quick. The number one way that people get rich in America is, that's right, it's not real estate. I freaked you out for a second because most people think it is real estate. Real estate's actually the number two thing. Number one thing is money lending. It's lending your money out, okay? So if an opportunity pops up, like I'll give you an example. I had a past client of mine two nights ago call me up and say, hey, we gotta sell this house. I went over, told them some options. I said, hey, how much do you think someone would pay cash? I said, I'll write you a check tomorrow for $185,000 if that's what you want to do, okay? Anyways, I ended up negotiating it a little bit higher on that and I bought the house and I'm going to be able to turn it with a partner and, and don't, don't think you have to do these deals all by yourself. Get with people that are rock stars at it. So I lined up with a friend of mine that does probably four flips every single month and I'm going to leverage it out with him. He's going to run the crew on it. I'm going to finance it together with him and all I have to do is run the process that I already do for hundreds of my clients every year and so it's super simple. So instead of just taking a commission on that deal, I'm going to be able to earn probably three to four times just what a commission is on that opportunity. See what I'm saying? But I couldn't do that had I not started the habit four years ago to pay myself first into the financial freedom account. And in fact, I have been so focused on that account that I'm now currently paying 12% of gross revenue. That's right, gross revenue into that. Why would I do that? Because I want to be able to grow that faster and I don't need to live off of more money. I have plenty of money. I can live off of less money and then I can continue to grow and then it relays into other parts. Like we're working on our Christmas project. We, we have 140 nominations this year of people that need help with Christmas. 
I wouldn't be able to do that and all my giveaway stuff if I hadn't focused on my financial freedom account. So many of you guys come to me, whether you're a real estate agent or one of, your, my, or one of my clients, or you just follow my videos or my podcast, you come to me and you say, hey Colton, I wanna be able to give away on a massive value like you're doing. Well, if you wanna do that first, you must build your financial management habits. And when you start creating those habits, you will have so much opportunity, and that's the whole point of this video today, so much opportunity, you'll be able to quickly act on it. That's the secret. See, when this opportunity popped up just a few days for me, I didn't have to think about it. I just had to look at the numbers and say, boom, let's do it. Let's take advantage of it. I didn't have to worry about how I was going to finance it or, or, or how it was going to come together. I just knew it was an opportunity that I was prepared, prepared for and I built relationships. See, that's key. I can't do this on my own. I have the relationships to be able to perform. And at the end of it, if you knew the whole backstory on this opportunity, I'm actually creating massive value for this person because they have to sell it at such a low value so that they can get their father on to Medicaid and have some assisted living help. So you can see part of the investing side, part of it, it, it's helping others. And I want to pass that along to everyone that follows me on social media on any aspect that it is not about you and what you can do for yourself. It's about what you can do for other people. It's who can you serve on a high level? Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at the WGR. I appreciate you guys, and we'll see ya. What's happening up in your head? That is printing out in your inner world to your outer world in three dimension based on what you feel in your heart